This song is called Waymaker. It's been covered and remade by a bunch of different artists and groups um, since it came out. And one of those versions, a couple of us listened to this morning. And um, that was kind of what prompted our heart of worship when we were recording um, this song. And um, this particular worship group, before they started the song, um, obviously pre-pandemic in a room full of people with a full band, um, she just took a moment to appreciate the diversity in the room um, between the worshipers and, and the band and where the origin of the song came from, just appreciating the fact that music brings so many different kinds of people together and music has the ability um, to take you to another space and to do so much, specifically worship music. Um, and it's that reminder of who God is and, and who we are with him. Um, worship music is always that. And she used one um, term that I, I've never really heard that it gives us handles. It gives us that something to hold on to. Um, regardless of the circumstances, God is unwavering and, and, and the worship that we will always have, that we always have had, um, are those handles, something to hold on to and something to carry um, the word of God. That's, that's what worship does. It, it allows us to bring the scriptures to life even. Um, and that's what this song is about. God is a way maker. God is a promise keeper. God is the light in the darkness. It's as simple as that. Um, and in a small space, in an empty sanctuary, we recorded this song. Um, and we didn't need anything else to feel the presence of God. And we didn't need every, anything else to be moved by the Spirit. So um, we hope that this is a blessing to you. Um, wherever you're listening to this, whoever you are, wherever you are, um, in whatever space um, you're in. Um, I pray that you would just be present and um, and feel the blessing of God um, in the same way that we did recording it in that space. God bless.